I see 27.8 meters here. Who wants to give me a thumbs up on that? Thumbs up, lots of thumbs up. Thank you, hands down. Thumbs down, okay. Just before we move past it though, because not everyone gave me a thumbs up. 27.8, like where does that come from? Because I haven't actually written yeah. all four sides on F atom. Because they're the same side, same like measurement for each side. I did 9.1. I times that by 2, okay, and that good. got me 18.2, and then I did the same with 4.8, because 9.6, and then I add them both together. Okay, lovely. So, oh. you can see, perfect. <laughs> um, what was it, by the way? <laughs> Fatima did mention something that um, we all could see, but what's the clue that tells us why this is 9.1 meters? There's a little tiny thing on there, isn't it? There's two lines. Yeah, it's these little dashes. You remember? I've told you many times about how famously lazy mathematicians are. To tell you that those sides, the top and bottom ones, are the same, and of course these ones as well, we want to put as little notation on there as possible. So you get there the same, you double, looks good. Okay, we'll pause on number two because it seemed like there was some controversy about that. Let's come to number three. Now there's a curveball in number three. There's actually a tiny curveball in all the questions. What's the curveball in number three? Uh, one is one meter. Yeah, that's sneaky, right? So I'm calling you back to last time when we said, if you've got units in one form, you want them to talk to other kinds of units, what did you need to do? Someone else has had, thank you, Rinesh, but someone hasn't said anything yet. Nikhil? I'm still moving. <laughs> I'll write your note in a second, you can put it down. Yeah, Rish? I'll uh, convert it to like these centimeters. Okay. Now, can I just pause for a moment? Pause for a moment. Rinesh is suggesting, I think it's a great suggestion, that we convert this to centimeters. Now, that's not the only thing you could have done. What if, what if you didn't want to convert this? What other approach could you have taken? Yeah, Maria? Convert centimeters into meters. Yeah, great. Like, there's nothing that told, I didn't tell you in the question, Give it to me in this unit or that unit. I just said, tell me the perimeter, the length all the way around. So you could have given it in either unit. Now, can anyone tell me just further on, why is Renesha's suggestion, I think, a, a great idea? Do that one rather than the other one. There are at least two reasons I can think of. Christian, what do you think? You have to do less converting. Okay, number one, there's only one to convert. And secondly, there's something else you can dodge if you leave these in centimeters. What else becomes sort of simpler if you leave them as they are? You can just like add them together and then you don't have to worry about changing at the end. Okay, so I mean I could have still added them and left them as meters, that would have been okay. Can someone tell me, like say this guy over here, 38 centimeters, what is that in meters? 0 0.38. 0 0.38, okay. And then this would be 0 0.45 and then this would be 0 0.4, which is all fine. But it's decimals, like I'd prefer to deal with, yeah, you had it, right? I'd prefer to deal with whole numbers because it's just easier for my brain and um, simple for the numbers, okay? All right, now number two, seems like there are some questions marks over this. Can someone, would someone like to give me an alternative answer? I'm not saying what's right or wrong. What do you reckon, Will? Uh, 62 centimeters. 62? Okay, now I'm going to put a question mark on these. Hmm. Now, interestingly, before, I want you to think, think back like the AMC. Right, you remember when we did that competition, most of us did it. And sometimes you get questions and you're like, I don't obviously know what the answer is yet. They don't seem to have given me enough information. Now, interestingly, even though I don't know whether which one of these is right, or even if either of them are right, they could both be wrong. I think 62, not having done any calculations, is probably a better answer than 59. Now, Think, 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 think. And I'm going to ask you to think back to the clue Mrs. Bell gave you last week. What clue tells me, even without even touching any of these numbers and adding or anything like that, or multiplying, how do I, what does my instinct tell me that makes 62 a better answer than 59? You reckon? It has to be larger than like 44 plus 18. Okay, where did you get 44 and 18 from? Oh, oh sorry. Um, it's because the thing at the top that thing has to go outwards. Okay, so the reason why we have like specific words in our mathematical terminology is because when you, when you don't have them, you end up calling things things and stuff in the place with the circuit. What's happening here? You have here a corner that's kind of been chopped off, right? Is that sort of a reasonable way to describe this? It's like there was a rectangle, there was a rectangle, but then someone took a weird rectangular bite out of it, okay? Now obviously that changes the area, we'll talk about area today. What effect, what change does it have for the perimeter? Think, perimeter. What, what, how much does it change having taken this chunk out? Yeah, Brad. 
It doesn't change the perimeter at all, does it? Have a look. Think about where the original rectangle was, right? When you cut this part off, you created a new length over here, right? Which has the same length, right? They're, they're the same. And in the same way, when you chopped off this part, you created a new length over here, which again, these guys are matching. Does that make sense? Now here's the thing. You got a parallelogram, you got a rectangle or something like a rectangle. Remember what Fatima said at the beginning. What did you do with the 9.1 and the 4.8? What did we do with these numbers before we added them together? We, yeah, we doubled them, right? Why did we double? Why was doubling a common sense thing to do? Yeah, good. There's like two, double, two, double. Now you're gonna do the same thing over here for the rectangle. These are all whole numbers. When you double a whole number, I don't care what whole number you start with, you're gonna end up with something even, okay? Now, this is not a crazy number. Like, this is in the ballpark, isn't it? What's it missing and why? Can someone tell me? Because, like, it's very, very close. It's missing the, um, the length of that part. Yeah, okay, so I've been a bit sneaky. I'm going to rub this off again and then we'll finish off. Because um, 62 is the right answer. Good job. Um, what's sneaky about this question? See how there was um, a conversion here? That was sneaky. The thing that's sneaky here is there's a length that's... Missing, I haven't told you, I haven't like given a label on it. It's this guy over here, but you can work it out, can't you? Okay, because these two lengths are still going to be 22, all up. And these two lengths are still going to be 9, all up. Okay, which is why 62, let's, let's is correct. So thumbs up. Yes. Okay.